Dear cottage friend, when I think of lace, I imagine a romantic setting, a time when people made lace by hand, homemade bread and cakes, spending time in a meadow, gathering flowers, a slower pace of taking time to be in the moment. This lace lampshade will add that romantic element to your room, a reminder of how beautiful life can be. So collect your lace and other materials, and let's make over a lampshade. With lace, I got it for 99 cents. So we're gonna use, we're gonna upcycle it. Oh boy. For this lamp, this is a lamp that I ordered on eBay and it needed new wiring. So I went on YouTube, of course, to learn how to wire. And I'll be showing you more of this. This is an alabaster lamp. I rewired it, but I kept the lamp harp, the original lamp harp, and I just replaced this part of it and the cord. And this is the lamp that's going to go on it. So today we're gonna to discover what's in this box, this little sewing box and see if there's any lace in here that we can use. I just took this out of the closet and we're gonna see what's in here. This is just a little sewing box. The lid goes over the side just like that. Okay, so we've got some pieces of lace in here. Let's see if there's any that we can loot. That might, that might be a possibility. This definitely looks like it would be nice on there. I'm gonna have to iron these. Oh, this is a long one. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Now, these aren't really white. I don't know if I should keep them kind of, some kind of creamy, kind of tone, tone on tone. This almost looks like it was tea stained at some point. This is a box, a uh, sewing box that my sister gave me. There's also a couple of old hankies in here. Oh, this is pretty. It's a very cottage hanky. Very delicately embroidered here. Very sweet daisies and it looks like tulips on there. Oh, then here's some smaller lace that it's very pretty that almost looks like kind of a wedding style of lace Let's see how much we have there oh there's quite a bit I would say oh just keeps on giving doesn't it <laughs> There just might be enough lace in here to finish this whole thing. Oh, that's a big piece. You could probably swirl that around the whole shade and finish it off. But I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna do something else. This is pinned together. Oh, there's quite a lot of that. That is pretty. Okay, so we'll use that. And then this is, looks like a had maybe it been an old collar. It's got this kind of a balls on it, these little balls. It has a bow. It's an old bow there with, a, with some balls. And this, it's very cool. That, that is handmade lace. It looks like it's tatted. That could be pretty. So once I get all of these ironed, then we'll take a look. I'll do a demo on how I do the actual piece. 
Oh, look, that's a little hanky. This is silk. Or well, it could be polyester. This is an unfinished embroidery. Looks like a Japanese embroidery. And um, there's a few, well, those are very tiny little stitches. That is beautiful. But I'm not going to put that on the lamp. That could be a pillow or it could be incorporated into a crazy quilt maybe. And we got a little bit of, oh, got some fringe here we might be able to use. There's plenty of this fringe. I think this could work. I'm not sure if I want to use it. It looks a little bit tattered. But it's a possibility that we could maybe use that on our lampshade. So we'll keep that in mind. And we've got, oh, here's another piece that looks like it may have been tea stained. This looks like it's very finely crocheted. It's very pretty. There's another little piece. There's a piece we can trim. Piece of satin ribbon. It's all folded up. This ribbon, it's slightly, it feels like it's slightly wired. <gasps> oh, look at that. This is like uh, some kind of kerchief. It's all hand embroidered. It's got a beautiful scalloped edge. It's very sheer. That would be pretty on the lampshade, wouldn't it? We might have to figure out how we can incorporate that. Okay, here's some more crocheted lace. This one has a little scalloped edging on it. It's quite a bit of that. That might be nice around the base of the lamp. I think there's plenty of it. Then here's a couple of little doilies. crocheted and embroidered linen doilies. This is a hanky. Crocheted and embroidered. There's another one. That looks like a little, uh, this looks like a piece that you would put on the end of a chair, on the arm of a chair and it would hang down. Not sure. If you know what it is, it's shaped kind of different. It's curved down here and then it's straight at the top. And then there's this one. Another one just like that other one. The corners are crocheted. Those are very sweet. Oh, here's some black, or no, purple. Ooh, that's pretty. That's very pretty. I'm gonna save that for my crazy quilt. Okay, and then it's just some thread. And there's a button. Are you missing anything? We're missing a peg here. I'll put this over here. So everything seems to fit. I don't know why that doesn't want to go all the way down. That's a wooden spool though. It's an old wooden spool. Oh, this is a picture of my son when he was in baseball. <laughs> And these are some type of embroidered piece of fabric. So we got one button. And these are some type of, I think, I don't know, this is some kind of tube or knitted. I don't, I'm not a knitter or a crocheter, so I don't know, but 
this looks like it's probably made to wrap a package or something. Getting up close and personal today. But I think we're going to have some fun with looking through some of these things. As long as I don't forget that I'm wearing a microphone and walk away with it on. So these are some of the laces that we had pulled out of our box and decided to use. That's pretty much all of them except for this piece and I'm, I don't think I'm going to use that. And this one. I don't want to get too hot. Okay. I want to lay something over it. So I'm going to take this pillowcase. And I've got paint on my hands. Um, it's, it's dry, but I've got this paint on my hands because I've been painting. That's a new project that I'm working on to show you. And this, I'm just going to use this. pillowcase to iron because I don't want any chance of melting if this if these fragile lace products are any kind of fragile nylon or anything I don't want them to melt under my hot iron So there's that. This is a better shot of it because the light's better. I'm thinking about putting that on there. These are cotton, so I'm going to go ahead and just do a, give them a once over. This is fabric. Don't need that. Really, I just got this to dampen it a little bit, so. And right now we're in this room. You can see this painting behind me. Recently got that. It's crackled, it's vintage. I don't know who the artist is, but I just fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. So I just had to have it. Is you, usually the case you don't plan on buying anything when you go into a thrift store but if you see something that is a keeper or a treasure you got to get it right away so I just picked it up and put it in my cart that's how I usually like to shop when I go to a place like that is if I see something I put it in my cart right away and then I always edit before I leave, before I go to the checkout. This is beautiful. That's pretty. tell if this is this is vintage for sure I don't know if it's handmade sure is beautiful though 
So I've recently got this room available to me. This is in my place and um, I'm setting it up as my sewing room. Yeah, it's a great place to film because this is natural light that we're filming under here. That's a nice long piece. Mm, about three yards, maybe a little bit more than three yards. This is pretty much ironed. I'm not going to do any more to that. This one I'm saving for crazy quilting. I haven't done one of these before, so I'm excited because I just think they're so pretty. And I'm not sure if I'm going to hot glue or, there you go, or just sew them on. This one I believe is definitely handmade. That is so pretty. So I have a lot of projects planned. I'm going to be doing some sewing, making slip covers and for, for the living room. I have a chair that I'm planning to reupholster, another one, just the seat. I've got uh, a lamp that needs to be rewired that my mom made back in, gosh, must have been the 40s, maybe the early 50s, but I think it was made in the 40s, and I'll show you a picture of that. She was doing ceramics. That's a nice long piece, I like that. I'm definitely using that along the edge. And I've got one more to do. And I'm gonna do this into a little guest bedroom. It's kind of gonna be a mishmash of things that I like because it's also my office slash craft room. So it's going to have a lot of very cottagey kind of things in here. And uh, it's going to be very cute. Oh, I've got two pieces of this. This is like, this was like a, <laughs> a jabot. Two of those were probably here and they hung down. Not sure, but okay, so that's done. And we're going to unplug that and I'm going to show you this lamp. It's so cute. This is the lamp. No, not that one. This guy. There he is. And so we've got this old vintage lampshade that we're dealing with here. And here he is, all in good standing, and he's in my favorite color green. So I brought the lampshade up, and this is the lamp. 
beautiful vintage alabaster and I wanted a kind of a narrow profile for this lamp so you can see it's probably a little bit short here I'll put it down here so I'm gonna make some length with some of that lace and what I decided was to use this one now someone had started to crochet just a tiny little blue on there so I'm probably gonna have to cut that off That's what I was afraid of. And as we keep filming, I continue to film. <laughs> I'm just going to start pinning. Okay, so I was going to cut that little piece off. Start here at the back. And just start working our way around. The reason I'm pinning it first, just to make sure everything fits properly. So what I'm going to do here, because you can see that that's coming, looks like it lined up very well. Really, actually, it lined up excellent. So I'm going to cut it right here. This is the general layout for that. So that's going to be that way. And I really like these, and I thought these would cover a lot of territory. This is the back, so I want these to be on the sides. So that's a side right there. Actually fits really nicely. With this, and I want it to kind of overlap. I was lucky to find these pieces because they just kind of fit the lamps. It's like they were made for this. So that's on there. Now I'm going to put the other one on the other side. This looks like it's shorter. So it's going to be a little bit of a different. Just wait on that. So we've also got this and this, and I bet you're sitting there watching this and saying, Put it there. <laughs> I think. 
dress will go up here eventually. I'm just going to kind of lay it on there right now. I kind of like that. But we need to figure out what to do with this. And this is the front of the shade. And this is what I was thinking. Oh, I just think this is going to be so beautiful on there. I'm reluctant to cut it, but you know what? If this wasn't used on this lampshade where we can just admire it every day, it wouldn't get the lovely honor that it deserves. That's how I feel about it. It's going to be showcased on this lampshade. Otherwise, would remain hidden. Because I just really don't like cutting these up. But I'm going to kind of gather this, gather it together just a little bit. Okay, so see that one? Maybe we'll save that, save that for later. And get this on here. is kind of, well, the front's a little bit. That's the back. The front is here. And I really feel like this should be centered. So we're going to have to work around that. Yeah, I think this to be centered right there. To give it the most impact. stitches but I definitely want this to be hanging down over the edge of that bottom lace oh, that's pretty okay so we're gonna be filling in some spots feeling I'm going to be stitching this rather than I think I'm going to use this because this is already been used back here but what if I do another layer like that that 
is pretty right there. Oh, I love that. I'm going to cut it. So I'm cutting around the design. So you can see what I did here. I cut around this design here so that when I lay this on here, it's going to sort of overlay. It'll be a nice overlay. Oh, isn't that pretty? Now I'm just wondering if, do I want to use this? I'm not sure. As beautiful as it is, I kind of like the idea of doing like a crazy mismatch bunch of lace. So we're going to see if we can do that here. Now I've got this. So, what I think I'm going to do I think I want this to be the front. idea how we want to do the layout. So this is going to be the front and then I'm going to put this on the back. This will be the back. And I'm going to put it down here like this. It's going to have a kind of an unfinished look. Then we're going to use these pieces and fill in where we want to. And I'm going to have to take you downstairs. And I like these tea stain pieces after all. I think they're the most beautiful. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you downstairs and we're going to see if we can do this with a little bit of hot glue go a lot faster. So here we are. We're working on our lamp. You can see it pretty well. Since I know I'm committed to doing this. I'm going to go ahead and start it. Hot glue can be very hot sometimes, so. Okay, now I'm going to unpin it and continue around.
trying not to let that glue show. Now we still have this side over here. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. This lovely piece it's saving for special spot. I think I want that on the front, so I'm going to go ahead and put that there. It looks like we're not going to use this unless we put it somehow wrap it here. And then put this over it, the top. Okay, so first we have to get committed to a couple of these. Now see, I'm going to have this overlap this. So I'm going to put this on here. wrap it so 
So I'll go ahead and add a little more glue. So here's my glue. Wrapping that. And then wrapping this. And then I'm going to trim. And this will lay over the top of it. That. It's kind of like you're building. Oh, I got some glue up here that I'm gonna have to. Well, we're gonna disguise that. So okay. So now we're going to build this down, coming down this way. I guess it's good not to be too heavy-handed on the glue, like I am. I tend to be. Ouch. <laughs> it's good to have adult supervision. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do is We have to find a place to go under there. I've got this little corner. That could work. And we'll layer each item over the top of it. So, if you saw what I just did, I just put a little piece in there. It's like a crazy quilt. And then I'm going to Put this down first, and this is going to come over the top of that. So, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of glue along this piece. And I'm, I really am trying not to put any glue onto the lampshade itself because it could show through when the light's turned on. So I don't want to, ha I don't want that to happen. It's kind of like a crazy quilt lampshade. <clears throat> okay, and so I'm going to trim this. And save your little scraps because you may be able to use them somewhere. Now, so what I was saying is that I don't put the glue on the lampshade itself except on the spines, top and bottom, and then on these spines. But when I lay it uh, over, when I do an overlay, I'll put it on the underlying fabric so that you're not seeing a lot of that glue going through. I've always admired these lampshades, but I never thought I could do one. They look so beautiful and complicated. Now I'm just going to put a dot right there. Now you can see, I just put a dot underneath, a blue underneath this flower so that it would stay down. And then we're gonna come over to this side and that's the last side we need to do. Now you see this is loose, so we can go ahead and get this laid down. Again, I'm just putting it right onto the lace that's underneath, so. And then this, I 
think I'll do this side first. I'm just gonna trim up any excess. And I see I have kind of a straight line here and, and this is going to come down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that line. Oh, this glue is getting sticky. I'm using the tip of this pin to kind of push it down. Don't want to burn myself. Done enough burning. Burnt myself enough. Okay. Now we're going to get this side down. Let's see. Where we're at. And I'm just gonna go along right along here. Kind of a thicker part and we're going to lay that on there and tap it down again with my pen and you don't necessarily need it to be real tight or anything it just needs to kind of lay on there kind of like it to be loose. Okay, so we have this piece here that's kind of loose, but we had another piece, let's see. There's another piece of lace that was gonna go on there. I just need to find it. Oh, what happened to it? Oh, it's right here in front of me. So this, we're gonna put on an angle like that. But before we do that, I like that idea, I have a lot of this left. And this can be cut around and laid on here. So I'm thinking going to go ahead and cut a piece here to go here. And again, I'm going to cut around the leaves. And the flowers. I think I'm going to put it long ways so that those leaves sort of overlap right there. So we'll start there. Go ahead and lay some on the side here and then we'll just do a little tiny line right there. I'm gonna stick that down. never made one of these I hope you do try it it looks like a lot of it's a lot of fun except for the burns you get the burns okay so now I'm just gonna put a little dabble do you of the glue oh I guess you know I grew up with the Flintstones <laughs> okay so we got that on there and this is going to be overlaid. Let's look at it again. So maybe we need to put something up here. Let's 
and I do like this so I might just use a little bit more of that so I'm gonna go ahead and attach this idea is to not have any glue showing you just don't want that glue showing if at all possible if for any reason you have glue showing you can always go back over it and maybe add a pearl button or a pearl I think that could be real pretty too this whole area back here. Now this is the back, so I don't think I want to do anything different to that. I might add a little piece of something right there. This is pretty well done. I kind of like the open bit, but I'm going to go, I, I, I think I want to cover it as much as I like it. I'm just going to put something right there. This, I don't have to worry about cutting it. And this is going to go right there. glue on that. Way too much glue. Right there. And a little bit on this side. And we don't we don't really need to do the bottom. It's just gonna hang loosely. Oh this is pretty. I love it. That is pretty. And see, this is, that's attached. Everything's attached loosely. Don't wanna like cement it down. Lace has a, has a lot of movement to it. So I think we are done. Even here, I have a little piece that I could add right there. I still have uh, this lamp. I told you I just rewired it myself, so I haven't even plugged it in to see if it works. <laughs> Hopefully, I won't have a, any kind of a power outage or anything if I plug it in. Follow the instructions carefully. Now, if you see any loose pieces up at the top, 
just go up there and put a little tiny bit of glue on there. And tap it down. And there we have our beautiful lace covered lampshade. Made with vintage lace. This day passed so quickly. Had time run away with me, or was I just in the zone? I hope you try making one of these. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself. And thank you for subscribing and liking and leaving a comment. I love looking at your comments.